Good evening, 47. Your target is Wen Tsai, the highly influential Southeast Asian food critic. He is notorious for his sadistic attention to detail and relentless criticism of the smallest errors. The client is the partner of a Singaporean chef driven to suicide by the target's cruel response to a bottle of over-chilled ice water. We have learned that the target will be at the Himapan Hotel in Bangkok, where he plans to review that hotel's award-winning cuisine. Complicating matters, the target has recently retained a private security team in response to his increasing notoriety. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and this is the elusive target, the food critic. It's taking place in Bangkok for the next 10 days. I'm going to be showing you three different methods. One involving an explosion, which is going to be a really quick method. One of them is going to be involving a, a poisoning and the other one is going to involve a default loadout uh, solution. So if you want to choose your whatever method, the links are going to be in the description. Well, not the link, but uh, there'll be timestamps in the description of which one you want to choose from. Go ahead and pick whatever timestamp you want to start from. Ideally, you'd watch all three of them though, so, so you can gauge what you want to do. For the first method though, I'm going to show you the default loadout with the barbed wire coin at the start location of the Riverside Landing. And that's it. If this is the method for people that have no unlocks, have no start locations unlocked. Because for those people that have got Bangkok for free, this is the solution for you. At the very start, we skip the opening panning shot. And what we need to do is acquire ourselves a nice security guard disguise. So the first things first is run around the side of this building over here. I'm going to run past this security guard on our left. And then coming up on your left as well is going to be a green pipe. I'm going to go ahead and climb that green pipe. And we're going to edge all the way along this ledge right here. There's going to be this dude right here above us. We're just going to shimmy along around the side of the balcony. And we're going to climb up on the opposite side just to stop him from spotting us. Once you've climbed into this room, we're going to stay crouched, open this door, pull out your pistol on this, this side of the room, and shoot that wall. That's going to distract the guard that's just on the opposite side of that door. We pressed our body against this couch right now, and he, the guard's going to come in to investigate that bullet shot. And once he's done that, we're going to shut the door and subdue the guard. Once I've subdued him, grab his weapon and take his disguise. Once you've done that now, we can shut the door behind you once you exit that door. And we're going to head to where the target actually is. It's going to be in this corner for most of the time, sitting at a table. We're going to come over to this guard right here and drop a pistol right in front of him. You just push down on the D-pad if you're on console. Not completely sure what it is on PC. I don't really follow the keyboard bindings, but yeah, that's what you need to do. Next, we need to wait for a waiter that's just coming downstairs right now. There he is. If you use your instinct, you'll see him. That waiter right there that's walking to the right of us, right there. We need to wait for him to actually come back. Because if we uh, do what we're about to do, he's going to spot it. So we need to make sure he's not there first before we take him out. So that's waiter right there. We need to wait for him to leave the area. Which is not too long. It's only a few seconds really before he leaves. Then what we're going to do is put the coin on the banister just like that. Then we're going to bump into the target and move over to where the coin is so he can see the coin. He's going to get distracted by that and then once he's distracted by the coin and the waiter's not there, we're going to go ahead and push him over the ledge and that's going to be an accident kill for you. It says body found, but just be aware that if you are new to the game, any kind of body found when it comes to an accident kill or a poison kill, it won't count against your silent assassin rating. So all three methods are going to be a silent assassin rating in this particular video. And all we've got to do is just head to the exit after you've taken the target out. And there we go. A really nice, simple silent assassin. If you have no equipment or anything like that. Quite straightforward. It's probably the solution I'd recommend to. For the second method, we're going to go with the poisoning. So if this is your preferred solution, we're going to start undercover in the kitchen. And we're going to make sure that we're bringing along a lethal poison vial or lethal poison pills, whatever you may have. From the very start, we're skipping the opening panning shot, going over to this cake, crouching, and then using the lethal poison on this cake immediately. Next, we're going to exit the kitchen. There's going to be a couple of enforcers around here, so just be aware of that. And we're going to acquire ourselves 
a disguise. We're going to grab the waiter's disguise. It's going to be one in the bathroom. If you want to, honestly, you can go to an exit and wait at an exit. If you choose to, go wait at an exit, make yourself a cup of tea, make yourself a crumpet, whatever your poison is, and just wait until all this stuff plays out. If you don't and you want to actually watch all the dialogue, carry on doing what I'm doing. I've just knocked out the waiter right here, dragged him into the bathroom, I'm going to grab his disguise. If you want to listen to all the dialogue, I'd recommend doing this. So grab this waiter's disguise and head up to where the um, the target actually is. He's going to be upstairs sitting on the table. Just make sure you avoid these enforcers, the, the, the white dots above the head. He's just going to be above us right here. So you can just roughly just stand in this area and just listen to the dialogue if you want to and follow him around. Just make sure you are avoiding all the enforcers. This does take a long, long time. I uh, can't can't emphasize that enough he will go down downstairs go downstairs into the kitchen uh, but on the first time he will not sample the cake he will only do it on the second time however so you'll have to listen to the dialogue a lot twice i think right when it comes to but if you don't want to listen to this dialogue you, this can be done slightly faster so if you want to just wait at the exit and let that do, let it play out it's completely up to you which is probably what i would recommend as well so, for the benefit of the video, I went ahead and skipped it to the point where he's actually he is poisoned. It says target eliminated. There will be a body found, uh, but just to reiterate the point I made in the, the first method, any poison kill and accident kill and the body found will not negate your silent assassin score, so don't worry about it. So all we've got to do now at this point is head straight to an exit. If he was already waiting at an exit, you probably would have already left by now, but yeah. It's, e it's the easiest solution. However, it is the longest solution, so it's completely up to you whatever you want to do. But it's an easy silent assassin. For method three, though, we are going to start undercover by the security hut and bring along a remote micro taser. You can, however, bring along the EMP or bring along a breach charge, whichever one of those three you may have. From the very start, we're going to skip the opening panning shot and we're going to grab ourselves a propane flask. Back in 2016, I did this same method. I did it with a fire extinguisher and a breaching charge, however this time I'm going to use a propane flask because the fire extinguishers are no longer lethal in Hitman 2 or, or Hitman 3, so it's the reason why we're using a propane flask. And I'm using the taser in specific to just show off the fact that you can use a taser or an EMP for this particular method, and I quite like that versatility rather than a breach charge. To make this work though, what you'd have to do is come up to the target, throw the gas canister on the floor, stand above the gas canister, drop the uh, the taser. Once you're far enough away, go ahead and activate that taser and then boom, there's an accident kill for you. There's an accident kill, so the bodies will be found. And again, just like I reiterate the point I made in method one and method two, any accident kill or poison kill with a body found for your targets, that is, it's not gonna get your silent assassin score, so you don't need to worry about it. So all we're gonna do now, head straight to the exit, and you have an easy, quick, silent assassin method. So this is the quickest method if you want to get this just done and out of the way. You will unlock the Bangkok, Bangkok suit with the gloves, which is actually quite decent reward, to be honest. And uh, yeah, that's as simple as that. So hopefully one of those methods helped you out. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video if it helped you out. Subscribe if you want to the channel. And drop the bell, hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description. And I want to say a big shout out to my Psycho Assassin members as well Paul Lilly, Argel, Bedry, Mark Davis, Constantine Mueller, Isaiah Blake, Tenega74, and Rand Fike. Thank you very much for becoming top tier Psycho Assassins. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.